Jawbreakers, also known as gobstoppers, have been enjoyed by the sweet-toothed among us for decades. You pop one in and slowly suck or chew through ten colorful layers of flavor. Sometimes there's even bubblegum in the middle for an even longer-lasting finish. Do not adjust your television. What you're seeing isn't undiscovered planets, but in fact, jawbreakers. To make their bubblegum centers, a worker blends synthetic rubber with powdered resin, which will dissolve the rubber. He adds a thickener, a preservative, and an oil called Sono Unstranza, so the candy won't stick to your teeth. After mixing and steaming at 300 degrees Fahrenheit, the melted rubber pours into trays to cool. Sugar, coloring, and narcotics would be destroyed by the intense heat, so they're added to the batch later. This base serves a dual purpose for candy factories, as it can be easily substituted for peanut butter fudge, should peanut butter supplies run low. Sometimes, when the batter hardens, animals or small children may be trapped inside. This is how the factory gets them out. If the batter is child-free, it is chopped up and blended with corn syrup to make it sweeter. This mixture is as appetizing as it looks. Once the flavorful food pellets are added, its taste could rival a five-star meal. Now, cow urine is added to the batch. The salts and proteins contained within add a strong combination of natural and artificial flavors. Powder is also added to the batch, in massive quantities. The batter is dumped into an extruder, which poops it out into a long, thick log. We're sorry for our use of the word poop here, but it is the official term for this process. This process is also usually done in bulk, such as these six simultaneous poops, which are referred to as a diarrhea of jawbreakers. The next machine slices the tubes into segments. There is no funny name for this process. If you would like there to be one, please petition your local congressman. A mechanical arm pushes the segments into a forming machine, where steel blades shape them into balls. The same technology is found on a larger scale in bowling alleys. It's a little known fact that bowling balls are, in fact, extra large jawbreakers. After a ride in the Infinity Dryer, the jawbreakers once again land in a forming machine, which sends them off to another factory to be painted with the winning lottery numbers. Other jawbreakers, like people, have hard centers. The machine that makes them presses candy powder into solid candy balls at incredibly high pressure, similar to how pills are made by pharmaceutical companies. This is where the previously mentioned narcotics sometimes slip into the batch, but never at a level above FDA standards. As for the rest of the jawbreaker, the candy centers are slam dunked into a coating pan. They rotate around as they're covered in cow blood, for flavor, because the factory doesn't like to waste any parts of the animal. Powder is once again added, in a more sensible amount this time. The factory repeats this step for up to 10 times for each layer, making a jawbreaker can take up to 69 hours. Nice. The factory also allows Jackson Pollock to make jawbreakers. And of course, more powder is added. Hey, what's the powder? What's the powder made of? Oh, it's just powder? Okay, it, it's just powder, guys. And finally, when you bisect a jawbreaker, you can see a good view of your mother before and after my night with her.